Welcome to Fox It's Home. Today I'm going to be talking about anime. Not just any anime because I'm not going to be talking about Trigun or Cowboy Bebop or Trigun or Trigun or Vash, 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 Vash. Did I just change my subject? I did, I'm sorry. Not just any kind of anime, but the first anime that got me really into this realm, this world, this wonderful life that everybody that is in this world actually knows what I'm talking about because we're actually really nice into the life of anime convention, meeting new people, and cosplay contact, which by the way, I really like cosplay. So that's a whole nother shebang lag that we'll go into later on. But yes, this is actually the first anime that I purchased so that it was like mine. Like I, I remember running home, getting it in the mail and opening it up and my brother trying to take it, which was not very nice, except he had far more anime than I did. That anime is this. Roll the beautiful melody. There's no one here to roll the melody. I have to roll the melody. I don't care to admit how many times I tried to practice that on the piano. Yes, the anime is Ayashi no Series, which I'm still probably pronouncing wrong. It has your main characters that have great depth and story and detail. I never said it was perfect, okay? This anime has it all. It has your romance, it has your action, it has that really weird moment where Aki and Aya um, are like, you know, themselves but not themselves, and then they like are together but not together at the fountain. Did anyone see that? Did I just spoil things? I'm really sorry. But it has Aya and it has Aki. They are two siblings that just so happens to be a part of the Mikage family, which is not very good to sing because they're actually quite terrible. So Aya turned 16, what other way to have a great, happy, sweet 16 than having your family try to kill you? You see that? I just slow blinked. I mean, who doesn't want to wake up at age 16 only to find that you are not actually yourself and you have a different color hair and different color eyes and um, it just so happens that some guy randomly picks you up and then kisses you in a magical tree? Hmm. Um, but honestly, that does sound kind of nice. Actually, I have to admit, I really do like the storyline. Um, but you've got your main characters. You have Aya. Aya, the beautiful 16-year-old who is 16 years old and um, has a sweet 16 of her whole family trying to kill her. Happy sweet 16! And then you also have Aki, her twin brother, who has no idea what's going on except for the fact that they opened up their present and their present just so happens to be a really gross hand. Happy sweet 16! And you have Toya. <laughs> Who's in this really weird, um, troubling state of mind? He really has no idea who he is, and many others. Um, but you have these three main characters. Aya and Aki are twins, um, and it just so happens that they have the celestial beings within them. Um, that being Ceres, who I actually personally idolize because who doesn't want to have blue hair and pretty golden eyes and powers? She was like my sailor, my sailor moon. Ceres was my sailor. Moon. Yeah, I guess she did. It has random bits of um, terrible, terrible, terrible uh, English dub. I'm just recommending that right now. Please don't do it. Um, I personally recommend this anime. I think it's still really funny because if you're older, you're going to catch a couple more things as to where you're like, why am I watching this? Why? Uh, the art, I really, really appreciate the art. The storyline, it does a really good job telling the storyline. The music is fantastic. I think I bought the soundtrack to it when I was younger. No, I, I seriously, I still personally recommend this anime. I think that is well worth the five days that you might commit yourself to it. Unless you're like me when it comes to anime and you really like it, you just kind of power through it. If you take the time to watch it, it shouldn't take all that long. I'm not going to give away too much. If you are willing to sit down and you want kind of a quick anime, um, this one's probably really good for that. Uh, it's an older style uh, art and so I think if you appreciate that, 
you guys are gonna actually really enjoy it. If you have watched a Yashino series, um, leave a little description. I would love to hear about it. I'd love to talk about it. I personally want to do some more reviews. If you guys like the reviews, um, leave in the little description below. Also, what was your first anime? What got you into watching anime? Um, I want to know what anime you guys started on. Thanks so much, you guys, for watching. Um, if you like this, like, favorite, subscribe. Nerd power unite! As always, thanks for watching.